Welcome back. I would like to share you my top 20 jailbreak tweaks that support on your iPad. So I see on YouTube not many people make a video on jailbreak tweaks for iPad. So I decided to make this video for those of you that own the iPad. Now let's go to the first tweak. And this is the tweak that allows you to quick access the app. You can just slide from the right here and then you can see the app right here. So I have Messenger, I have App Store, Music and Camera where I can just go to all of those apps much quickly. So I can go to the App Store from here. And also when I am um, standing on App Store, I can just find here as well. So and then I can go to Music for example and then you can just add your custom app as well go back to settings so go to manage shortcuts and then you can also use recent app from multitasking or you can select the custom one now move on to better cc ai it allows you to quick access to wi-fi bluetooth airplane mode and so on so when you invoke control center on the ipad you can see we have um, the new button here so we have airplane mode cellular data wi-fi bluetooth and airdrop and below those buttons you can see we have music module where you can uh, play the music from here it is pretty awesome Small Siri also does support on the iPad as well. For Siri, when you invoke Siri, it's gonna appear the full screen. But for me, I don't like that. I want to do multitask at the same time. So it is better to install Small Siri where you can do multiple things at the same time. So now when I invoke Siri, I just hold on the home button and you can see small city pop up at the bottom and if you want small city to pop up on the top you can go back to settings and then on small city you can select on top right here and now when i invoke siri it's gonna appear on the top with ios 13.5 if you have the ipad and then on the left side you can see the widget but with widget you can see the background but now you can see um, the background is transparent so i use better widgets to remove the background completely so you can see the widget now look cool and you have no background so when I slide here there is no background and you can also customize more on settings go back to settings and then go to better widgets so we have transparent widgets that I have just mentioned at the moment so if you have the iPad with Touch ID, you can take advantage of Touch ID. So you just install the Virtual Home. So for the fix, it allows you to use um, Touch ID as a home button. So you don't need to physically um, click on the home button. Just simply um, tap on the Touch ID. And you can see now I am go back home or I can just tap and hold on Touch ID to invoke Siri. You can see here. So you can also change those gestures as well. You can see here we have single tap action. So I can go to screenshot. I can go to last app or I can invoke control center. So if I select on control center where I can just single tap and then it will bring up control center so it is much faster and quick way to assess all of those options now pancake also support on the ipad as well so for example if i go to general and then go to let's say i go to ipad storage but usually without pancake you need to click on the top to go back so you need to click on the label go back but after you install pancake you just swipe in the middle of the screen to go back to the previous page you can see here so it is better you don't need to go to the top to go back to the previous page so it is much more convenient this is the issues that i have faced so usually some app doesn't support on the ipad so where you can see just the small interface in your ipad but you need to install no more small apps these tweaks will make all of those apps support on the ipad so now when i go to our store so our store originally it doesn't support on the ipad i mean it doesn't support the screen so after I install the tweak, you can see I can um, use our store in full screen. And now let me show you without the tweak. So I can go back to settings and then go to select app to blacklist. So if I disable on um, our store, now when I go back to our store, and you can see here our store it doesn't fit on the iPad. So that's why you should install that tweak. It is very useful. So for this simple tweak, it's gonna add two widgets 
to the top of the settings you can see on the left side i have battery here and then i have storage so if i click on storage it's gonna bring me directly to storage so you can briefly see your battery and then you can see your storage right here move on to vesta for the tweak it is similar to switchers that i saw you um, in the beginning of the video you can access the app much faster so what you need to do just go back to home screen so to access the app just swipe from the right of the screen and then you can see the app pop up right here so and then you can select the app that you want to go let's go to the app store i can go to the app store right now and then i can just swipe here again and then i can access to the other app as well let's go to music and now I am jump into music straight away so it is pretty awesome Milky Way 2 previously I have show you on the iPhone but it also support on the iPad as well so you can install Milky Way 2 and then you can go to multitasking and if you want to run the app in window mode you just hold on the app itself and then it's gonna pop up the window here so where you can just um, move it and it is very good for a big screen like the iPad right here and then I can just use settings and then if you want to run more apps just go back to multitasking and hold on the other app so I'm gonna hold on music right here and now you can see music also pop up as well so where I can just move this and this one here iPad Pro keyboard it's gonna bring iPad Pro keyboard into your older iPad so like I have here the iPad Air 2 where I don't have um, the iPad Pro keyboard so you can install that trick and then when you go to the keyboard right here you can see exactly the same as the iPad Pro and here is the cap lock where you can just tie the capital letter or you can also um, in done and you can see here and then we have also shift key right here and you can find the number on the top of the keyboard for the tweaks it allows you to lock the app on your ipad so for example i have locked the app store so when i click on the app store it will ask me to confirm with my touch id to open the app store and then i can just place my finger here and now i can go to the app store and you can lock many many apps so go back to settings and go to the tweaks so it also confirm in setting as well so i can confirm with my finger and then i can go to lock apps right here you can lock many many apps it is pretty secure frame is my favorite tweak so you can see on the home screen we have the moving wallpaper and it is uh, moving right now so for frame it also support on the ipad so now go back to settings so there are a bunch of um, wallpaper for the ipad as well you can go to frame and click on choose wallpapers and click on more video right here it's gonna bring you to safari and after that you can select on ipad folder you can double tape here and then we have um, a bunch of uh, wallpaper here where you can select so let's say i want to go to uh, minimal i can double tape here and then i can just double tape on the uh, video right here and now you can just click on download button click on download one more time and the video has been downloaded i can click on search to bring to file apps and you can see the video is now in file app so i can go back to settings and then I'm gonna click on choose video, select from files and then you can pick the video that you have just downloaded you're gonna select um, either lock screen or home screen so I'm gonna go to home screen right here and now we have just changed the wallpaper and now we have a new wallpaper at the background here so for this one it does give you the option so which means you can set individual option for each application so for example i can hold on the app store it's gonna bring me 3d touch and then i can select on a page where i can set the custom setting for the app store so if i select on wi-fi and i'm gonna turn it off and as you can see here so if i go to the app store wi-fi will be disabled you can see on the top wi-fi is enabled but when i go to the app store now and let me confirm with my touch id and then as soon as i am standing on the app store wi-fi will be disabled and now when i go back to my home screen wi-fi will be back move on to animation be fast it's gonna speed up your device so if you have the ipad um, where you can speed up when you launch or close the app so now if i go to setting it is much quicker 
and you can see here so I can um, exit and open the app much faster and also when I go to control center you can see the animation is much faster and then you can also select the speed here you can drag the bar right here and on the right it is much slower and on the left it is much faster usually for the ipad you don't have low power mode so when you want to sell or preserve your ipad battery you don't have that option but you can install low power mode pad it will give you low power mode into your ipad so after you install the tweak you need to add into control center so you can go back to settings and make sure you go to control center click on customize control and now you can scroll down and you're gonna find lpm pad and then you can click on plus and now i have add to control center now let's invoke control center right now and we have low power mode button right here now when i click on it it gonna um, change the icon here you can see we have the um, low power mode battery icon move on to the other one it allows you to hide the app from springboard and for this one it is also support on the ipad so i'm gonna select here so i'm gonna hide the app store so i just enable this button now it's spring my device now after i hide app store and when we go back to our home screen you can see there is no app store anymore wallpaper loader let you inject wallpaper into settings so if you go to settings and go to wallpaper right here choose the new wallpaper and click on stills and scroll all the way down and you can see um, this new wallpaper but um, this is additional wallpaper for um, wallpaper loader so you need to have both wallpaper loader and um, additional wallpaper so i'm gonna put the name um, on the top here finally move on to dog style so it allows you to change the color on dots on your iPad. So for the tweaks, it doesn't work 100%, but at least you have the color here. So the color has been changed and you can select and change some of the options from here, but you don't need to change much from here. It's gonna crash. So make sure you select um, some option and do not try all of the options so finally thanks for watching i hope you like all of these tweaks for the ipad and if you want to see more tweaks on the ipads make sure you um, hit the subscribe button and then comment down below 